joining me today. Genesis R&D will automatically create an ingredient statement for you to display on your label from the ingredients that you entered into a recipe. And this tutorial is going to show you how to modify the automatically generated ingredient statement. First, let's see what this looks like and click on view label. So we see here, these are the ingredients listed by weight. Pears, peaches, Thompson, seedless grapes, apple, banana fresh medium seven inches to seven and seven eighths inch, whipped topping and English walnuts. Pay special attention to the banana here. It's a little bit long. This is the ingredient as it's named in our database, but it's not really appropriate for an ingredient statement. It's just a little bit too unwieldy. So we are going to go ahead and change that. Now, to do so, you either right click on the ingredient statement text and select ingredient statement, or we can go up here and click this button. And we see up here at the top, these are the items as they were listed. And then these are the ingredients listed by weight. Now, if we look in the English name column, we can see that most of the ingredients have been getting given an alternate name for use in the ingredient statement. And that's what that's there for. Bananas have not. So let's change that. Right click here and select edit. And then enter, enter in banana. And then I just want to show you what this looks like. So enter in parentheses, medium parentheses, and click OK. And then we can see that this is updated in the ingredient statement here. Now, you can also edit the ingredient statement directly. Again, click the ingredient statement button. And then down here, click edit and uncheck program generated ingredient statement. In this case, I'm just going to do delete Thompson so just for example purposes. Now when I click OK, the program is going to say, the program says, hey, this is being used in another recipe. Do you want to update the ingredient statement and the subingredient text in just this recipe or in all of them that use this? For this example, I'm just going to update them in this ingredient statement. Click OK and then you can see that it's been updated here. I also want to show you that you can modify how the ingredient statement text looks. So right click here and select edit label. And then if it's, if it doesn't come up automatically, select object properties. And then I'm going to change my text to Arial narrow bold 14. Click OK and we see that it looks like this. And like any other element on the label page, I can drag this around where I want it placed. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you.